Good morning guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm still in the Bahamas. I wanted to start a new vlog just so that it was not 10 years long. Uh, so I am right now literally just got up. I've been laying out here just going through all of the photos from last night. We got such cute photos last night at uh, right before dinner and I'll show a couple right here but we Honestly had I think probably my favorite dinner last night or my favorite meal last night and it was at a place called Cleo's and it was Mediterranean and I had Chilean sea bass, which if you have Chilean sea bass on the menu, I'm getting it. I do feel like horribly dehydrated so today I'm on a mission to drink some water uh, just because when you're out in the sun all day I just didn't even remember to drink nearly enough water and I probably drink a little bit too much Diet Coke and not enough water. <laughs> but this has been, like, it has been so much fun here so far. And we're with two other couples. If you haven't watched my last vlog, obviously getting ready to travel here. We're just here for, I think it's Wednesday, we get back, um, like Wednesday through the weekend. So not even a full week, but it's been, I think that's gonna be plenty uh, just to pack a lot in. And yesterday we spent a lot of time out by the pool. We kind of adventured around a little bit. Today's Friday, so happy Friday. I am absolutely starving. So I think what I'm gonna do is get a breakfast sandwich from Starbucks, or I think that they have Jay, we also could go down to that little cafe or whatever and see what breakfast sandwiches they have there. Or do you want to do Starbucks? Okay. For a pre-workout meal. Whatever. Probably just Starbucks. I don't know. Um, grab something to eat as a pre-workout snack meal. And then after that, we'll do like a breakfast brunch type situation. Because it's already 8 o'clock. So by the time we have brunch, it's going to be pretty. We also have to remember, Jay, that that breakfast place closes at 11. Bless you. So yeah, probably eat, get a workout in, have breakfast right after, and then get the day going. I think we might jet ski today. I, I don't know, today's kind of like our activity day. Cause yesterday we were like, we're not gonna really make an itiner itinerary. We're just gonna have uh, a day of like hanging out. We had lunch at this really cute spot on the beach. I mean, it's just stunning here. The water here is insane. Our hotel is insane. I did like a little hotel tour in the last vlog as well, but having the best time. And then we, tomorrow when we go back, it's a Saturday, we are supposed to go to the Bucks game, which is like right when we get back. But I have a feeling that we'll probably not end up doing that because traveling is exhausting and we'd like get back at five. I think the game's at seven. So we would, probably late to the game, go home, change, and go. I don't know, I don't know if that's gonna happen, but tomorrow we do travel back. So this is gonna be a vlog of today and tomorrow. Welcome to the vlog, I'm Sydney if you're new here. Missed the sunrise, we slept in a little bit this morning. Yesterday it was so pretty. Knock on wood, but we've had like such incredible weather. Oh my gosh, okay. Can I stop yawning? <laughs> I'm like itchy. I think it's because my skin's so dry from like just being out in the sun. My outfit for today, well, I can show you this way too. I've got my flow eye bra on and then what are these called? Fast and freeze maybe? I forget what these ones are called, but one of my favorite pairs of shorts. The only thing that I don't like about these shorts is when you're walking, they tend to like do this right here and end up kind of looking like you're wearing underwear. And Tori said that she wore them in the airport and I was like, no, I wore them in the airport last time I traveled. And like when you're walking, like they literally like start to look like you have underwear on. I don't know I don't know why they do that like they totally could have had these kind of like attach right here to where it still could have the same style but so that it's not like literally showing like everything and like just going in between your legs I don't know I don't get that but they're so cute <laughs> Yeah. 
y'all breakfast this morning. We were just gonna get a quick breakfast sandwich from Starbucks. Ended up going down to this cafe, Cafe Madeline. One, it's so cute down there. Like they have an outside too, and they have uh, like the cutest drinks if you like actually eat there. Maybe we could do that tomorrow before like a travel day. What? Is it too messy? No. no okay. Nothing. Do you want the silverware? Yes. Um, but egg whites, avocado mash, everything bagel, and some bacon. And then I got a uh, coffee with a little bit of oat milk. Back at our same breakfast place as last night, or yesterday, I mean. Yesterday. <laughs> I guess we had dinner here last night too, but totally different food. Little buffet. They set up there next to the thing by the waffles, bread pudding. So if you see bread pudding up there, we need to get some, but I couldn't find it. Getting that bread pudding. I couldn't find it though. Find it. All right, just got ready for the beach, pool, whatever we've got going on. I'm wearing this Hunza G bathing suit so comfy and then just this white button up i'm realizing i didn't bring hardly any cover-ups but that's okay this will do i don't think that i really need much i can just button it up if we do go into a restaurant or something majority of the restaurants are just like down there by the beach so that will be just fine and jay is matching me with his pink vibe good <laughs> Oh yeah, babe. We're all gonna have matching. I love. No, we're okay. Thank you. Oh, they're right there. We got some matching bucket hats. Seventeen. Gang and gang, it's the lane. Little and stable. All right. I'll rate it. I'll rate it. Three, two, a three, two, one. <gasps> I'll give it a 9.3. Pretty good. It scared you? Oh. <laughs> Hi guys, recap. Okay, we went out on a glass boat tour, glass boat bottom tour. No glass bottom though. Uh, it was definitely something. Uh, this is what this is what happens when you leave the boys up to something. They were like, "Oh yeah, we should just do that. That will be good." I was like, "They probably asked zero questions. Like it was just one of those guys on the beach that sells things and says, "Oh, you can do jet skis and you can do this and that." And like it was totally fine. Like I I saw a lot of other people from our resort doing it too, and they were doing jet skis and whatnot, but we couldn't even see like said boat in sight and so i just had in my head i'm like i know that this is going to be something else we walk down the beach and all we see are these two little boats like little dinky boats and i was wondering i'm like are we going to be the only ones on this boat and so yeah sure enough with this guy who and his son i mean they were of course very nice and that was fine but there was not a glass bottom to this glass bottom boat we also did not really see hardly anything he was like, the waves, the waves are so bad, you know, for your safety, we can't really go over by the reef. I'm like, okay. So, yeah, we kind of got a little bit gypped on that, but it was still a lot of fun, and we were able to get on a boat and go out there and swim around a little bit, and it wasn't, like, way off the beaten path, so it was still feeling practically pretty safe, I guess I would say. Like, okay. But then we got back, we had lunch at the same place that we went yesterday, and I got a Poke Bowl, had a lot of Poke Bowls while I've been here, 
and then we came back up here and we I took a little nap I edited three TikToks, I um, uploaded a YouTube video, I did some emails, I was actually pretty productive, Jay slept for pretty much the entire time, so he should be rejuvenated. And now we're just gonna walk around for a little bit and then get ready for dinner. We have a 9.30 dinner, it's actually our last night, so we leave tomorrow and tonight is like our steak night dinner, so pretty much all of us are getting pretty dressed up tonight. I'm gonna wear my black dress that I brought, so. That's my little recap for you because it's been a little bit since we've chatted and yeah, things are going well here. I just was completely worn out after being out on the boat and just in the sun all day long. I'm so dehydrated. I keep saying I need to drink more water and I have like drank no water this entire Water's time. Water's hard to here. come across here. Yeah, what the heck? So I was just online reading and they say that the Bahamas is like one of the most expensive countries in the world. Really? Yeah. Uh, restaurants, groceries, like it named off all these things. And the other day when I went on the gro to the grocery store in search of waters, I mean the price is on the shelf and just like how low end the actual grocery store was, like it didn't make sense. So, so it's like the most expensive for what you're getting, like not even good stuff. Yeah, and it, it just makes, it makes me think that like, it's extremely hard to get things over here for them. Oh yeah. So they the price the goes prices up. that much. Well, and even when you're at restaurants, wow, that lighting's crazy. When you're at restaurants, you have to buy water bottles. Yeah. And like rations, like $10 for yeah, like one water every bottle. Every restaurant is so expensive. Yeah. yeah. I feel like, yeah, it is insane. It really has been so expensive. I heard that Hawaii is like that too, that it's just like everything is just so pricey. Jay is currently contemplating if he wants to spend $95 on a bottle of Josh Cabernet. <laughs> Bro, it like doesn't make sense, but there's, I really have no other choice. If you want to have a glass of wine while you get ready. Everyone else has vodka, and I'm just like not the biggest vodka fan. So. How much is a bottle of Josh at home? It's like twenty-two dollars. <laughs> just say. Balancing on a very unstable. Woo! We're wobbly on this lamp, but that's okay. Okay, no, that's simply not gonna work. All right, here is the dress for tonight. This is what I'm wearing, Jay. I think I'm perfect with my, uh... Which fit? My fit. Ooh, this is so cute. Okay, I need to get my makeup and hair going immediately. Get your hair in tune. I am so annoyed that my chin is breaking out. <sighs> every time I travel, every time. So annoying. Probably because I have just not been good with my skincare while I'm here either. Hi. Hey. How's it going? I think I need a shower again. Well, you, no, I wouldn't think so. Unless you're referring to your hair. <laughs> My hair look crazy. No, not at all. I just know sometimes you feel like you have to wet your hair. foundation or this is the bronzer that I've been using lately it is lawless summer skin velvet matte bronzer in blazed and I'm loving it like it makes me look so sun-kissed I did kind of get sun-kissed today but I made sure to kind of stay out of the sun because we did not want to go through what we went through from 4th of July 
ever again. Jay said that he wanted to dance for y'all. Take it away. I've been working on my Dougie. What would y'all rate that? Okay, let's see it again. Um, hmm. Maybe like a 7.8. Let's see your twerk. Okay, how about your, what's another dance move? I can't be jumping all around, but I can do a little something, something. No. Oh. Can't be jumping all around, but you can do a little something, something. Okay. Oh, that was a little something, something. <laughs> How do we want to do this, girls over here? Yeah, that works. Does that work, Jay? Yeah. Uh, Kelsey, yeah. right ahead Pick of me. So I, I saw the settle for Tyree Hill. Yeah, sir. <laughs> That's pretty then. Yeah, Jay, I think my favorite vegetable ever. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Good morning, y'all. Time for a little bit of Starbucks. I'm just gonna get something light and then I'm gonna go to work out. Okay, I just got home from the gym. Really all I've done while I've been here to work out is just walk on the treadmill, which is good to get some kind of movement in. I honestly, it was like pretty busy in the gym each of the days. And then today I was like, I'm just gonna take it light before we go travel and did an hour on the treadmill and we're about to go grab some breakfast. This morning we grabbed Starbucks. This is like a little pre-workout snack and Jay just chilled this morning and we honestly just need to pack up after breakfast and then we're gonna hit the road, Jack. What's nice though, we were just saying, is that getting home on a Saturday gives you time to actually like reset before the new week rather than like being slammed in the face of the new week. You know, that's the worst when you get home on like a Sunday night and you need a vacation from your vacation because you need time to do your laundry, to clean your house, all that. Luckily, we washed the sheets right before I left. I did do that, Jay. Swapped the sheets out. Getting home to clean sheets. We have a clean home because we always make sure that we do dishes, laundry, all of that. So yeah, really all we need to do when we get back is just unpack laundry and then we have all day tomorrow to get groceries and all the things. Uh, yeah, that's about it. That's what we've got going on right now. Let's go have some breakfast. We've gone to breakfast the same place each morning, which is this breakfast buffet downstairs at Cleo's and it is so good. It has like everything you could imagine. Uh, their waffles yesterday, mm, so good. Like dreaming about maybe French toast this morning, I don't know, or maybe an egg white omelet. I'm starving, clearly. Organize the heck out of this. in record time for this and it's seven o'clock right now the game started at seven we're only gonna be a couple minutes late and we're gonna we're gonna power through being a little bit tired from travel but we don't really get to go to many bucks games this season because we're out of town a lot so we're gonna take advantage 
Good morning, guys. Okay, obviously I didn't vlog when we got back from the Bucks game because I was asleep within 14 seconds. I think I was half asleep on the way home too. But I'm glad we went because obviously I really don't care that much about um, like I'm not chomping at the bit to go see preseason games or just games in general, but it is something fun that we like to do together. And obviously Jay loves football so much. He played football in college. He loves watching football constantly. So, uh, and we pretty much went to a majority of the games last season. We went to the Bucks games, but this season, since we're going to be gone so much, we were like, okay, let's take advantage of the ones that we can go to. Uh, so we probably got back here at what, like 9.30 or something. We really did not stay super long and went right to bed. So I'm going to end off this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my travel content while I was in the Bahamas. It was a lot of fun. I am definitely happy to be home. I always feel like that. Even if the trip's amazing, I'm like, yeah, I'm happy to be home. I really am. There's nothing like coming home <laughs> to your own bed, to a clean house, and also just back to your routine. I am going to vlog, today's Sunday, I'm going to start a new vlog off and do today and tomorrow before I have my surgery. So I'm going to do like a little bit of a Sunday reset and also just kind of like starting my week off before all of that, kind of prep for all of that. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. I love y'all. I adore y'all. Thanks so much for watching.